<clears throat> Jesus entered a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Say we celebrate the memorial of uh, St. Martha, uh, really Mary and Lazarus, uh, models of hospitality and discipleship. Uh, we offer this mass for the uh, special attention of Grace Harley, and we ask God for his pardon and strength. You are the light in the darkness, Lord have mercy. You are hope for the hopeless, Christ have mercy. You are joy for those in sorrow, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant we pray that through her intercession, serving Jesus, serving uh, faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because God is love. Everyone who loves his everyone who loves is begotten by God and God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this, in this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that God loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he is in us that he has given us his given us of his spirit moreover we have seen and testified that the father sent his son as savior of the world whoever acknowledges that jesus is the son of god god remains in him and he in god we have come to know and to believe in the love of God, in the love God has given us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear, hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Test and see how good the Lord is. Bless the, bless the man who takes refuge in him. 
I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you who, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> The first reading today from the first letter of John, the beautiful passage in the, the, the uh, fourth chapter uh, of, of 1 John about uh, that how God is, you know, God is love and those who, uh, uh, that love consists in this, not that we first love God, but that God first loved us. Whoever acknowledges, uh, whoever remains in him, uh, acknowledges Jesus remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. But that phrase, we have come to know and believe in the love God has for us. Jesus asked, Martha, do you believe? You know, I'm the resurrection and the life. The two are, 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 are go together. Um, Jesus as resurrection. He is the love that is God, the, the love that overcomes, uh, that is greater than even than death. Um, you know, we have come to believe, and that, that is a question. I, I remember the phrase um, that uh, I think a couple years ago when All Saints Day, and I can remember I tried to capture, well, who are, you know, that, what are the saints' model for us? And I said, the saints, you know, they, they, they let love in, with a capital L. They let love in, and they let love win, and they let love permeate every aspect of their lives. You know, we let love in. Will you let this love win? Will you let this love permeate every aspect of your life? God is love. Let God in. Let God win. Let love conquer you. Uh, you know, to be convinced is to be conquered. Uh, my doubts are overcome. If somebody wins an argument, and very clearly, you know, that, oh, you know what? You're right, not me. You know, you acknowledge it. You have conquered my doubts. Um, let, let God in, let God win, let God permeate every aspect of your life. Uh, that is the heart of our faith. You know, it's the, the great, the great uh, commandment and the great commission. That really sums up the whole mission of the church, the great commandment and the great commission. The great commandment, you know, love one another as I love you. Uh, and the great commission, go for it, go therefore, and to every nation, make disciples, tell the good news. 
teach what I commanded. May this day uh, we consciously uh, make an effort or at least make a request. Lord, help me to let you in. That means, you know, to, to give you more access to my life. And as you let him in, <clears throat> let him win. Let him have his way. Uh, you have plans, he has plans. Uh, you have desires, he has desires. You have a, you know, you, you want to do, you have a will, he has a will. It's like, let him overcome. Let him have his way in your life. Let him permeate in every aspect of your life. Give him access to every part of your life. And knowing then, again, not only will you experience the love of God in you, but you will also be an instrument of God's love to others. That is, others will encounter his love when they encounter you. So let love in and let love win. Let us bring for the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Spirit, spending the good news of God's enduring love. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world and end of discourage of violence and war, poverty and injustice. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the shut-in, those in hospitals and nursing homes, those for whom we promise to pray, and those who need our prayers the most. We pray to the Lord. We pray for uh, deliverance from the COVID-19 uh, 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 virus, uh, that uh, the, the, the areas where it's spiking may go down, that people may uh, uh, not be afraid to receive the vaccine. We pray to the Lord. For all those whom we promise to pray and those who need our prayers the most, we pray to the Lord. For those who are paralyzed by their fears, uh, that they may experience uh, the love that cast out all fear, the love of God, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always hearing our prayers. We ask them with confidence, for we ask to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which have become for us our spiritual drink. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. May by their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us a companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as, vic as victors in the race before us and win with them <clears throat> the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing one hymn of praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, for the clergy and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs for eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Worthy you shall to me, but only say the word, and my soul shall be ready. Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into this world.
Let us pray. Lord, may the, only, the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of St. Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down.